Hello, I'm Bernard de Grun. I was, I'm here to talk to you about this incredible group of statues from the Mumuye who are on my booth here at TEFAF 2023. Uh, the Mumuye are a group which lives in the eastern part of Nigeria and they're known for one remarkable way of carving the human body where they're able to invent the use of negative space, of void with within the modeling of the body. When you look at the arms here, the way they wrap around the torso, if you turn around, you see that part of the sculpture is these empty spaces, which make it very interesting and very three-dimensional. This is a remarkable example of this style, always very elongated with short legs, striated, big arms, a navel sticking out, and this very interesting small head with these enormous earlobes in which they would put their uh, round little discs of wood as decoration. Now this is the first time ever except for an exhibition in Paris some years ago where we have such an amazing group of these Mumuye. As you can see on my booth I have 14 statues which is quite an achievement and I think they really represent the incredible imagination of these artists. If you come here, what is interesting about the Mumuye is that we have actually names of artists. There was a Belgian scholar, Jan Strebel, who did some research in that group in 1971, and he was able to identify 39 names of artists, so like Braque, Picasso, Matisse, Derain, Rothko, etc. So we have, this is very unique for African art, that you have such a long list of names for one group. Uh, Unfortunately, we don't really have the, the objects that correspond to all these names, except for like three or four cases. But here you have, for instance, these two statues by an artist which I named uh, the Tara Master, where the face is really carved like a Union Jack, where you have basically uh, here <coughs> you have a, a flat cylinder, which is the head the line of the nose which is vertical and then you have the coiffure at 45 degrees and you see that this one and this one are by the same hand. I've identified six statues by this very talented artist. Another one which also stands out is another artist who will remain anonymous. This is probably on the list of the 39 researched by that scholar but we don't know which one it is which is rem remarkable in terms of its size its age, the wood is actually slightly heavier than this wood, so it's a very dense wood. And you see how interesting this face is with these strong eyes, which are surrounded by white of the Carolyn, makes it a very sort of staring uh, vision of these statues. And then these quite amazing scorifications on both statues, where the arms, its proper left arm, has this kind of like a sergeant, you know type of scarification again the big ears and this one with the head which is slightly turned and here you have another series of these Mumuye statues and last three were in a famous film done in 1995 by Jacques Kershach who was a very respected dealer in Paris and who actually was how can I say the promoter of Mumuye art since 1971 he understood how great these objects were one of them is very unusual. It only has one arm. It was born like this, and we know three by this same artist, one in the Menil Foundation, this one, and the third one. So as you see, the variety of styles is something which is exceptional in, in, in an art style like this. Now, everybody asks me also, well, how old is Mumuye art? These objects are all dated between, let's say, 1870 and 1960. However, we have some masks also from the Mumuye with the same head, with the same ears, which have been tested to the 15th century. So the style itself is at least 400 years old. So this is really the highlight of uh, my uh, uh, exhibition this year. And another piece which, in my view, stands out is this very special object. It's a water pipe, which comes from the Makonde in Tanzania. 
and it really is, you know, the pipe where well, here's the tobacco, there's a little coconut, we have the water and there's the stem. So it's a pipe, but at the same time it is the person who smokes the pipe. So it's a pan, just like Magritte, ceci n'est pas une pipe. This is a pipe, but it's also the man who is smoking the instrument, the pipe. So you see here his body, his head and his legs. It's one of a group of four known in the world. There are two in an ethnographic museum in Warsaw and one in a private collection. So this is really an object by a great talented artist from Eastern Africa. And it's, it connects with surrealism, with the 20th century in, in a way which you see is kind of the inventiveness of these artists reaches what Magritte was trying to do, you know, in Belgium uh, some 150 years later. So these are the two highlights maybe of my stand this year. Could you maybe tell us a little bit about what these objects would have been used for? Now, the Moumouye statues, as such, they're really, they're like the Swiss army life. They're used for many purposes, divination, healing, uh, rainmaking, uh, finding out who the, the thieves or the people who did, you know, some trouble in the village were. So it was really the owner of a statue would use this statue for multi-purposes. So they were really basically objects which helped to restore order and peace in the community, in the village, and something which, you know, is quite useful in a way, especially here. And the way they've invented, I think there was a probably a, an amazing explosion of creativity because in a short time, less than 100 years, you have maybe 20, 30, 40 artists which said, look, this is the way I do the, the, the face. Oh, interesting. Well, I do it slightly different. How about you? So they were really discussing and in this corpus of, let's say, a thousand statues, you have some great artists equivalent to Michelangelo and then you have some lesser artists, not as good, not as talented, but following these general concepts. So it really is a remarkable burst of creativity happening in less than 100 years. My final question is, could you maybe tell us a bit about the, the market for these objects and the price range these would be in? The market for Moumouye is for me one of the most interesting styles of, in African art because of the sophistication of representing the human body. In terms of value, there's some other styles which are more expensive, whether it's from Congo, from Gabon, like the Fang, or from the Dogon, or Ivory Coast. Uh, and I think Mumuya as a style has not really reached its true value compared to the intelligence of their in artistic solutions. The price range, you know, if you look at auction, they go from 20,000 to 200,000 euros. So that's basically where we are in terms of the price range. Okay, thank you very much for giving me a tour through the highlights of your gallery. Yeah, you're welcome. Come back next year. <laughs>